What's up, everybody? James over at uh, Be Good 4000 just uploaded a video about basically why do narcissists accuse you of, of doing things that aren't true or that you didn't do. And he covered the main bases, but there's a couple that he missed, so I kind of just want to supplement. Um, um, I would go ahead and pause this, or I'll put the link below. Go ahead and watch this video, then come back. The two things that I see, and it's kind of correlated that, that he didn't mention, is one, they'll accuse you of something to, to test your reaction. Now, what I mean is, let's just give an example. They may accuse you of cheating, right? And know that you're innocent. And they want to see how an innocent person behaves. And then in the future, they recreate that behavior, that innocent behavior. Um, so the next time they get caught cheating, they're going to act like you did when you were innocently accused of cheating. That way, they know how to look innocent. It's, it's kind of like a test to see, you know, how can I get away with stuff? It, they're, they're learning. They're learning how to get away with shit. The second thing that I see that he didn't mention is they'll accuse you of stuff again as a test, um, to gauge your reaction, but not quite in the same manner. Uh, let's say they had like a, like a nefarious, nasty thought, you know, like, um, I don't know. I want to kill somebody or something. Then they would project that on you and, you know, approach you, accuse you of thinking that you want to kill somebody, um, and see what your reaction is again. Um, why, what, now, you would ask, well, why would they do that? You know, if they're thinking they want to kill somebody, that's their own person, their own personal thoughts, their own whatever, that's their own issues, right? Why would they do that? Well, they want to see what normal people would do. Like, they know they're not normal. They want to see what a normal person thinks about it. Um, and then that way, again, they can cover their tracks and engage, you know, whether this is something, uh, normal or not, or they, they can talk about or not, or how to cover it up. It's a, kind of the same thing, just a little bit different, uh, path to, to the goal there. Um, he goes through the whole part of, you know, talking about it's gaslighting and they're just using it to un destabilize you and, and so on and so forth, but in my mind, the two things, they're a lot more nefarious. They're a lot more on purpose than that, um, you know, to cover their tracks. And, and and with the second part that I mentioned, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like out of it tonight. It is like 3 a.m. I've been working 12-hour days for like five days now. But I digress as always. Um... With the second part that I mentioned, god damn, now I just completely lost it. That's what I get for sidetracking. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Ah, yes. So the second part that I mentioned where, where they just want to gauge your reaction on like evil thoughts that they might have, not even actions. Why are they testing you to see your reaction? Um, you have to remember, they don't know who the fuck they are. Um, and by testing you, they can gauge your reaction and be like, okay, do I want to be like that? Or do I want to be like something else? So in these situations where they're going around accusing people of wanting to murder someone, like, or whatever, they're they're going to play this game on multiple, multiple people. All their, probably all their supplies. They're going to do this in a relatively short period of time. And every supply is going to react different, differently, right? And they're going to sit there and they're going to gauge which reaction they like the most and then repeat that behavior in the future. So, James made a wonderful, wonderful video. Um, but those two points, the, the more nefarious points, I did want to point out everybody. Appreciate it, James, um, and I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll talk to you later.